Well, I'll tell you, it has been very tense out here. It's still very tense out here. DPD still trying to disperse this crowd. And you may actually hear what are called concussion grenades. They are launching those concussion grenades. That's kind of scaring the crowd a little bit, so people disperse. You can see behind me, DPD is setting up a, what they call the crime response teams. Uh, they have been going back and forth with some of the protesters. The crime response teams are the ones that were launching tear gas. So we've got some video of them doing that earlier. Uh, here's some of that footage. This was right at the corner, right in front of the federal courthouse. That is where protesters started shaking police cars. They started jumping on top of police cars. DPD came in with their crime response teams and said, if you do not disperse, you will be arrested. And they gave them several warnings. The crowd continued to taunt police uh, and they were spray painting. They were actually puncturing the tires also of some of the squad cars. And then they also started to throw rocks at those officers and at the squad car. So DPD uh, launched those uh, tear gas canisters, about 30, 40. I've never seen Dallas police ever do this in any kind of march or protest. This is the first time, and I've covered DPD for almost 20 years. Also, then uh, they launched those concussion grenades and people started running. I am told that Chief Hall is in this crowd and she is trying to calm the crowd down, trying to get the crowd to get out of here. I'm also told by one of my sources that one person has been stabbed. Now I want to go to the footage of the freeway because this is what DPD was really trying to prevent. They did not want protesters to get on the freeway because that endangers the lives of the protesters as well as the officers who have to get on that freeway. They were trying to keep that from happening, but some of the protesters did make it over to the freeway. Now let's go back to the chopper because I want to show you that there's still a huge police presence out here. They're telling people right now, clear the area, clear the area. A little while ago, there was a dart bus and they were beating on that dart bus. They were throwing rocks at the dart bus. Also see now that Department of Homeland Security has shown up. So officers, federal officers are also coming in to assist. But this all started off just kind of calmly in front of Dallas Police Headquarters. And that's where my colleague, uh, Teresa Woodard is standing by now.